people welcome back to bluebird pottery jps the last time i did a video was in january so this will be my second one in 2023 hopefully i'll make plenty more this year yeah i have to make plenty more this year so don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up so let's get to it i done the glazing yesterday morning and i've put it in yesterday um afternoon i finished it yesterday afternoon so um i've got a few new things that I've done in there and most of them are just orders that I need to post by tomorrow so I just wanted to show you the new ones that I made I'm excited to see how it came out so let's get to it okay <laughs> my firing my glaze firing I always do on um, fire six uh, for glaze firing and that takes around about eight hours and 20 minutes um, the products I use is amagon glaze and um, the clay I use it's flake stoneware so um, I think for me it's easy for me to use that i don't know if you can see yes you can see i've set up the camera perfect so yes i've got my orders that needs to go out obviously the mushroom mugs is a big thing so um i still do loads of mushroom mugs so this is sky blue and um, i'll just take them all out because i've got a few that's that i've got now i do do personal mugs too so i've got this one here your order's coming tomorrow. I'll be posting it tomorrow. And let's get, let's, oh, I've got something to show you. So, um, I, my son's brought home some sweets. And um, in South Africa, we normally called it Nama Lekkers. Nama Lekkers. And um, I was, I haven't seen these sweets for a long time. I used to eat it when I was very young. And then I just got an idea. Why don't I just make... Um, in English, it will be named sweets, you know, and put it on the mugs. So I done two. So this is the first time I'm actually going to look at it. So I don't know how it came out. And um, let's see. Um, it, the kiln is still warm. It's at 180 degrees. So um, that's why I'm wearing my gloves. And it's obviously too hot to, to have with just with my hands. So, okay. Um, this is the first time I'm looking now. So let's see. Oh, no. I knew I had to use black for the words. Oh man. So this is the mug. So this is the, the, the clay I use. It comes out this color and then I just glaze a clear glaze. So, and when I say name sweets, you know, you get those sweets with says, marry me, love you, joy, hug me. So I've used a, like a reddish, um, how do you say, uh, color to write the words on. It didn't come out. Oh, no. So I think that was black. I think I have to go over it. I can reglaze it again. So I'm going to go over it with black and glaze it again and see how it comes out. The mug came perfect out. My shapes came beautiful. The words didn't come out at all because of the color I've used on the... Oh. That's fine. Only you, love. Yeah. I'm going to definitely reglaze this over, but put the words in black. Hopefully I can do it. Let's see. I've got another one also no issues came out beautiful it's just the words oh okay now I know when I make more do the words in black I think it's better if you do it in black I thought if I use this color it will come it's a bit lighter and it won't um the black won't be so black you know on the mug but um gonna reglaze it and do the words over so let's see oh and then i decided because most of the people that comes to the campsite they're always looking for little games to play and um i spoke to a few campsite people and sometimes they don't bring games and they depend on you know the swimming or um, whatever the campsite have so i've done this little game board let's see what it is this came out beautiful so i've done three of these ones i've done three of these ones so let me show you the first color was the first color is oval 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 can't get to the word um olive <laughs> um, i don't know if you can see how let me see if i can get it okay 
So this should give you an idea what game it is. So let me show you. And then I've got, let me see if I can pick it up because my gloves are so thick. So let me first put them on. This is going to take some time now because of my gloves. <laughs> it came out so thin. I've got an O at the bottom. Check it out. Check, check, check it out. Check, check, check it out. Oh, so I've got four O's and I've got five uh, crosses or X's. So it's XO's. Yes. Perfect. So I'm going to put at the bottom some um, of those, um, you know, sponges that keeps it nice on your table, won't scratch your table at all. And obviously, you got your. So when you're sitting and you've got nothing to do, you and your partner or kids can play a little exo game yay so i made three of them i'll show you i am so happy it came out perfect so and then i made a dark blue one as you can see this is indigo float <sighs> let's um get a few of them and just see the colors i made the exo so you know the x all the exos are white so you can see it on the board basically and the boards will be dark. I think this is a brilliant idea. I'm so happy I did it, actually. Uh, me and my kids, we always play games over weekends and when the school holidays. We've got so much game boards. And then I've done a sky blue one. So I've done three and they all came out perfect. And then you can see the little stones in them, the little speckles, you know, that... I hope you can trust them. So... I am so happy with this. with this. You can use this as a milk jug. It's microwave dishwasher safety. Otherwise, you can't put this in the microwave because it's too tall. So, but I mean, dishwasher safety. Um, um, you can actually use this also for a flower vase. Beautiful flower vase, you know, or anything. Essentials, anything that you want to put in here. I'm happy with that one. Let's get to number two. O M G. <gasps> Let's see if I can. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I don't know what to say. I'm like dumbstruck. I'm like, this is beautiful I I'm like dumbstruck so I can get these flowers in blue and green and black I think I'm gonna make a set of them you know so you get it in blue and green and black I think I should have done the inside of sorry to fit the to fit the flowers let me know if I had to do the inside red to fit the flowers. So if I do a blue one, a green one, and a black one, should I do the same as inside? You know what I should have done is do the daffodils one. There was one lady that commented on my website, daffodils with a blue sky. Maybe I should do that the next time. But, oh, wow, what do you think? Let me know. Number three. Here we go. Number three. I done the same one in green, wasabi green. Oh my god. I am so, I mean, like, why didn't I do this a long time ago? And you know what? I've done my own, um, everything is done on my own. I've figured out how, what handle I wanted. I've sketched the shape out. I've cut the shape out. Um, I've measured it how I want it to be. I think this is still a bit too big. Um, I'll put the measurements in the description. Um, I like the handle. It's wide. It's nice and big. Easy to grip, hold, pour. And it looks nice if you put flowers in there. This is... This is oh my... I've got no words. That is so fantastic. That's, that, that is so fantastic. Okay. Let's see number four. Let me know what you think about number four. Um... 
I didn't know what else to do with it. I had so many ideas and you just can't put it down. You just can't seem to like uh, pick one. And then at the end of the day, you pick the easiest one that gets to you. Should I sit long with this? Should I, um, you know, should I do it? It's going to take me so long to do it. I want to get it into the kiln. You just want to see the outcome of it. But um, you have to enjoy what you do. And yeah, you kind of have to just be patient. That's all you have to do. So number oh. I need to look first. Let me first look not bad i think i'll just change the colors i think i'll change the colors on me oh. <laughs> tell me tell me okay i i just kind of went with it i just went with it just just went with it i, I think my lines weren't perfect enough but i mean wonky is fine nothing needs to be perfect what do you think nothing needs to be perfect <laughs> wonky <laughs> And inside is clear glaze. I didn't want to have a color inside because there's so many colors on the outside. So I just clear glaze, just the color of the stone of the clay. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Let me see if I can kind of. Oh. I, I'm like so impressed. Every time when I open a kiln, I'm like, oh, how are they going to come out? How are they going to look like? Um, sometimes you can just be like, I don't have an idea for the next mug. What I'll do is just throw things on there. Oops. Throw things on there and then see how it came out. And they came out perfect, you know? Then it's like, why did I stress like that, you know? Obviously, the green mushroom mugs that I do. So, guys, you'll be getting your orders I'll be posting it tomorrow. I'll box it and post tomorrow. Let me see if we can. So I've got six of them that are done. I'll have two in stock still. So, guys, I don't know what to say. The, the mugs came out perfect. The jugs came out perfect. I've got, I, I had a perfect kiln firing. Um, they say practice makes perfect and you know learn of your mistakes and just carry on with life and live life you only get one life you know just do what your heart wants you to do and stay positive and forget about all the negative and be happy that's all you need to do be happy with your family love each other and create beautiful items so thank you for watching and um keep an eye open for my next video bye